All right, yo, what's going on, motherfuckers? It's me, OG Counter, bringing you guys yet again another new video. And listen, I know we're on coronacation. I'm sorry, I'm just a lazy piece of shit. But um, today I'm gonna be telling the story of you know how I was just a piece of shit, not model student in like fifth grade. All right, get right into it. Follow the Instagram, all that should be linked down below. But uh, yeah, video time, baby. Also, if I seem a little bit unenergetic this video or quiet, um, I haven't slept in like, uh, let's say like 26 hours. I don't know. I, I, I've i just been playing a lot of fucking Rust. That's probably what you're seeing in the background here. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. So in fifth grade, I, I was, um you know, a pretty good kid. I was on like high principal honor roll, had like a 98 overall average. I used to be a smart as fuck kid. I don't know what happened, but like... I never used to have like like try in school and everything was just like easy. Like I would get hundreds on literally everything and I don't know, like I just used to be super fucking smart in like advanced classes and shit like that. Then um I don't know, I just turned fucking like 14 and all that stopped. But you know, when you're a smart kid, school kind of like gets boring. So you have to think of, you know, new things to do in school. And I had a bunch of, I had a group of friends that were all as smart as me and like, they just didn't really care about school. And we, you know, we had to entertain ourselves at school because like the work wasn't hard. We were getting everything done within like the first 10, 20 minutes. So we just had an array of things to like do because we were just bored. So it comes to, you know, the last day of school and, you know, we're just sitting in the classroom, me and my homies, we'll call them, um, Randall and, uh, yeah, I don't even know, dude. Uh, Gerald, Randall and Gerald were chilling in the classroom, and you know, we were like doing this paper thing, and the teacher said, if you get this paper done, you guys can go outside, now the paper was for like next year, what you're excited about, what you're um scared about, some stuff like that, it was something like that, I don't even know how I still remember that, but I do, alright, and you know, we got it done within like three, five minutes, and it was like a 40 minute class, and the teacher was like, alright, you guys can go outside now, because after you got done the paper, you could go outside and play, and listen, my old school, the supervision when I was young, it was not there. It was a big ass playground where you guys can where you could play. There's like a baseball field. There's a big playground. There's like swings. There's woods and shit like that where you could play. Or you could go down to like the track and the football field. Like there was not an appropriate amount of supervision at this playground. So then me and my friend Gerald decided to you know go down to the baseball field, play a little bit of baseball. I'm I'm like really into baseball, I guess. Like I don't like watching professional sports unless it's football. But like. I, I just, like I don't know, I just can't watch professional sports. But, like, we were playing baseball. I'm into baseball. I played baseball for, like, my whole life, like, seven to eight years. And, you know, we're just playing during school, throwing the ball a little bit, hitting a little bit. And then, you know, the like, it's getting later and later in the day. And, you know, we've just been outside for, like, two hours at this point because, like, it's the last day of school. You just get to hang out outside with your friends, have fun. So we, like, decided this plan that we weren't going to ride the school bus home. We were going to just stay at school as long as we could until, you know, someone caught us. And I I just don't know why we did this shit. Like, we, I don't even know how we decided this. We were just not going to go home. And I don't know in our little brains how we thought this was a good idea. But it's, for some reason, it just was a fantastic idea. And honestly, it, it's, it's just stupid to me thinking about it right now. And I do some stupid things. So we're chilling at the baseball field, waiting for, like, the teacher's aide to walk to the other side. Because it did, like, rounds around the playground. They'd be, like, standing at the doors, and then they'd go around to the other side where, you, like, you couldn't see where we were at the baseball field. So once they um, took off around the other side looking for the kids and shit like that, me and my friend decided to run into these big, thick bushes that were just covered in mud because it had rained the night before and just stake out in them, dude. So, you know, we run into these bushes. We jump in instantly mud from head to toe like we were some dirty motherfuckers dude looked like we had a change of race like honestly i don't mean that in like a racist way i just mean it in like a comedy way like i hope you guys know what i mean but like we were just uh, muddy just mud and i remember i had like all black like uh not all black i had like all white shoes like all white adidas shoes and oh my god i never ever ever got the got the fucking like the stain out of these bitches dude so, you know we're just hiding in there for like the next you know 10 to 20 minutes we're just running around in there like army crawling through the mud and shit like that making a little fort in there with mud because you know we're in fifth grade we're dumb as hell then you know we hear the last bell for the day ring and that's when we knew we did it we're gonna stay in these bushes for like five more minutes and then technically 
it's it's not going to, you know, we're going to be out of school and the school isn't going to know what's going on and it's the last day. So why would they even care if kids stay to school and don't leave on the bus? Yeah, stupid. I know. And, you know, we're just chilling here for another three minutes. And then we hear another announcement on, you know, the speaker. And it says, Connor and whatever I named my friend, please come to the main office. So we said, fuck no, we're not going to the main office. So we, you know, continued to be in these bushes. And, you know, a couple minutes went by, probably like five and then we saw my science teacher come out. Now, thinking all about my science teacher, he's a super nice guy. I love this guy. Like, I still know him to this day. And um, he was really fond of me. You know, he's he's a really cool guy. I really like this guy. But he was also, like, the dean. I don't know if you guys know what a dean is, but he was the dean for my school. And, you know, he walks out. Super scary guy. Like, you'd definitely be scared of him if you saw him bald head and shit, tall as hell, muscular. So you would be scared if you saw this man. I don't know how this dude did it. He just looked at the bushes where we were and said, Connor and my other friend's name, come out here right now. So, you know, we can't, we cr- army crawled out the bushes, mud all over us, dude. And he was just like, all right, guys, this is actually unacceptable. He took us to um, the main office. They like talked to us a little bit and they're like, Connor, you do understand you have to ride the school bus home and the school bus is still here waiting for you. And I'm like, oh, so turns out I made all these kids late home because all the buses had to stay because my friend rode a different bus and I rode on one bus and they didn't know if we were in like a different bus or something like that. So I literally made all these kids late to go home on the last day of school for like 15 minutes. And, you know, they threw me on the bus. They didn't throw me on the bus. They walked me to the bus. I walked him to his bus. We got on. I'm just mud and all. My bus driver's like, oh, you had a rough day. And I'm like, yeah, I did. I walked to the back of the bus with all the homies. You know, I, dude, I had so many friends on that bus. It was so fun. And I walked back there. My shirt was all mud. Everything was all mud because they didn't, like, let me change. So I'm just sitting in the back of the bus with mud all over me. And, you know, I just decided, fuck it, I'm just changing in the back of the bus. I don't know why I did it. I had closed my backpack for some reason and, you know, whipped it up real quick, changed it to a fresh fit. You already know I was looking fly as fuck and whatever I was wearing in, you know, fifth grade. American Eagle jeans and, uh, not American Eagle, what was that? Old Navy? Old Navy jeans and, like, an American flag t-shirt. That was the fucking fit back then, dude. But then, you know, I got home, my mom was like, oh, you're in a different outfit today. And then, you know, she was going through my bag, you know, how moms do with young kids. And she finds, you know, just a bunch of muddy clothes. And she's like, hmm, I wonder what you got into today. And then I'm like, mom, listen, we just did some dumb stuff. I don't really know what I said, but I told her straight up, we just did some dumb, inappropriate things. And, you know, the school never called and informed my mom. I was the reason that we were 15 minutes late from school because, you know, I just decided I had to play in the mud, dude. But, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, do be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll bring you guys, you know, another vaping story time soon. But I just I just want to tell this story because I thought it's a fun story. And, you know, we're getting to, you know, the spring vibes. And I feel like mud is a good spring uh, activity. I don't really know. I just wanted to tell this, uh, this story for you guys. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to sleep because uh, it's like 27 hours we're going on. Not, not good after I get done with this. It's probably going to be like 30. I need to sleep daily shit coming soon i know i say that but i'm actually working towards it now boys because i'm on coronacation i got like a month off so shit i don't even know what i'm doing but uh yeah leave a like comment subscribe i love you guys and uh peace baby